Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships with Wadrace. And, well, while it may not exactly be what you all are hoping for in regards to me uh, putting out a Warships video, I am at least doing something, I suppose, so be that how it is. I am going over the patch notes for update 0.9.8 today. So let's go ahead and get to it. Um, for the starters, we are working on the uh, World of Warships anniversary. We are now five years into this game, so hooray for that. Game's still going strong five years later, despite uh, carrier reworks and potential submarines coming along. So, But hey, five years on, we're doing good. Let's see. Epochs of the Five Navy... Or five epochs of the Navy campaign, permanent campaign, I might add. So we've got a new campaign to uh, take up some of our time, and looks like it's got some interesting uh, little camouflages that you can get a hold of for tier nine ships, as well as a few other nice little rewards here and there. But the next up, we have five epochs of the Navy collection, which is. Well, I mean, it's going to work pretty much about the same as each collection that's out there currently. Um, containers for the collection, which drop the collectibles, so on and so forth. Nothing really new there as far as how the, all that works. Uh, the Epoch permanent camouflage can be mounted on any Tier 9 ship except for the Azure Lane Sovetskaya Rossiya. And I suppose that makes sense to some point. Let's see. Also, we have first battle victory bonuses for uh, the anniversary. Let's see. Tier 5 to 7 ships get two World of Warships anniversary camouflage patterns. Tier 8s get a gift container. Tier 9s get two gift containers. And then tier 10s get super containers, and this is basically what they've done same same way for uh, each anniversary in the game so far. So no reason to uh, really break from that tradition now, is there? And hopefully uh, those of you who uh, get your super containers, if you're only just watching this, or uh, if you already have for that matter, I hope you uh, got something good from your containers. Hey, there's, al there's always a chance, right? <clears throat> Let's see, asymmetric battles. We have a new battle mode. Now, this is going from September 2nd, so yesterday, up through Wednesday, September 16th. It is a temporary battle mode in game for the moment, and, well, hopefully it will, uh, uh, hopefully it's something that they'll do a little bit more often, maybe, but it seems like it's something to give a little bit of variety, maybe, to the game. You will have 9 to 12 ships of tiers 5 to 6 facing off against tier 7 to 8 ships. And the 7 to 8 ships have a disadvantage in numbers in that there will only be 5 to 7 opposing the five to sixes. So there there will be a slight numbers disadvantage to being the higher tier, I suppose, and that's a good thing just to make up for the overall tier balance difference. So as long as you're in a tier five and six, I guess, if you play play your cards just right, you'll do uh, reasonably well in the uh, asymmetric battles. Could be interesting. Let's see... Entering a battle with tier 7 to 8 ships costs you 500 tokens. And that's really the only cost that's there. Otherwise, you can go in basically, basically very easily. Battle tokens can also be earned in asymmetric battles. Tier 5s earn 250 tokens a battle. Tier 6s earn 150 tokens a battle, Tier 7s earn 200, and Tier 8s earn 25. And I can understand why they make this the way it is, partly because... Actually, I'm wondering if that's a... That might be a minor discrepancy there, or maybe for the Tier 8s. I don't know. But uh, it definitely... 
seems like a good idea for them to have small token earnings for the higher tiers so that players are occasionally forced to bump back down to tier 5, tier 6 and uh, not flood the pool with tier 7s and 8s. You earn 1,000 tokens a day for logging in and tokens are earned regardless of the battle results. The only reason you would not be awarded any tokens is if you happen to go through a battle and be inactive. So there you have it. Don't just uh, hit start and sit it out. We have a new dockyard going on. This is for the USS Anchorage, a tier 8 heavy cruiser. She is armed with 203 millimeter guns. And, well, this will basically work in the same uh, manner as all the other dockyards in the last few weeks or a few months. You can earn, you've got directives where you'll earn progress on the overall progress of the, of the dockyard, the construction, get to see the ship built, and you will get rewards for completing various stages, so on and so forth. Nothing really new here, but I will say that as from my perspective, granted, I also enjoy the U.S. Navy ships. Anchorage does seem like something of a uh, interesting ship to uh, go for, so it might even be something I push for myself. Who knows? Let's see. Armory. Update 9.8. Daily shipments will be replaced with daily random bu bundles. You can only get one bundle per day, and you can get 15 bundles during a three-week period. You can miss six days and still collect all of them. Let's see, ranked battles. We have tier eight, or sorry, tier 10 ranked, which is pretty much a guarantee that I'm not going to get into it. And it is eight versus eight. So not, not too bad there. I mean, I might jump in to get like a small guaranteed reward, but I'm definitely not going to try to push anything more than that. See, it also includes the maps North, Sea of Fortune, Greece, Sleeping Giant, and Warrior's Path. You also have Tears of the Desert. Interesting map pool, I suppose. Let's see, visuals. Display of fog in the game has been enhanced by adopting an updated spatial distribution system. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, other changes. We have some permanent camouflages that are being added for Tier 10s, Montana, Gearing, Kurfürst, and Khabarovsk. The... Oh yeah, the Transformers that this is the Transformers collaboration that is underway. Uh, commanders with special voiceovers will be uh, available. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Rumble. I don't know who the hell Rumble is, honestly. I would have expected more like Starscream, but okay. Let's see. Cybertronian containers, themed patches and flags, Decepticon disguise, and Autobot arc expendable cam camouflage patterns. Let's see... We also have Mid-Autumn Festival permanent camouflages for Warspite, Dunkirk, Kaga, and Prince Eugen, as well as three new commanders, uh, Chang'e with special specialization for Pan-Asian and Japanese, Ho Yi with specialization for Pan-Asian, and Kaguya with specialization for, or specialization for Japanese ships. And... I'll be honest, that's just a really gaudy, that, that, that's a horrendous camouflage, personally, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> Let's see, anniversary, commemorative flag, and patch have been added. Details on access will be gotten later, apparently. Uh, let's see... 
Research process simplified, changes being made to Admiral Hipper's modules. The A hull has been removed, hull B and C have been renamed A and B respectively. You get a 22,000 experience credit back to the ship for having hull B. And then researched hull C, the new hull B will be mounted. In other cases, hull A will be mounted. And any of the replacement hulls, if, if they're already purchased, compensation will be received for the amount of credits paid. Stock hull of Konigsberg, Konigsberg has been replaced, created on basis of researchable hull with changed composition for AA and secondary guns. Interesting. English language audio for Naval Legends has been added to the game client. I don't know really what all that does personally, but that's beside the point. Let's see, Belfast 43 and Oklahoma are being added for testing. Really makes me wonder what the Belfast 43 is. I'm not sure quite what that is if there's already the Belfast, but I mean, granted, the Belfast as it exists currently was uh, considered way too overpowered, so maybe this is a reintroduction on a nerfed version? I don't know. Who knows? And of course, there were some other minor changes or improvements. Apparently, a synchronization error has been uh, corrected causing incorrect display of ship's positions. Let's see, Thunderstorm Front and Snowstorm are available in the game again. And other improvements and changes, full list available in player support, but, I mean, that's usually just small bug fixes or texture fixes, so probably nothing really of note in there. So, yeah, that is uh, the basics and bones of... Patch 0.9.8. Um, didn't take me very long to go through this one, did I? So anyway, I suppose on that note, I shall go ahead and let everybody go. I hope you all found this informative. Um, I will definitely, I suppose, keep an eye out for some of the uh, campaigns or bonuses somewhere along the way to uh, maybe provide an update but beyond that, I hope to catch you all again later. Have a good one, folks, and I wish you all happy hunting.